A lot of you guys ask me which plugins you should use and what not and I would say to that you only need one. Today I'm going to show you a plugin, well actually a whole collection of plugins bundled all together into one powerful cocktail that works with Premiere Pro, After Effects and even DaVinci Resolve, believe it or not. You might have heard about it before, I use it a lot in my videos actually, you might have seen these transitions pop up in some of my previous edits, but yeah. I'll go through how to install and use the infamous AE Juice Pack. So to download the AE Juice Pack Manager, click on the first link in the description below. That will take you here. Click on download. You will be asked to sign up with an account. After that just pick your software, whether it's After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro or even Photoshop. It's called AE Juice but it pretty much works with all the big name softwares out there. I will pick Premiere Pro, download for Windows. Now double click on the installer file, click accept and install and if we open up Premiere Pro now and go over to the extensions menu, there you go, you can see that the AE Juice Pack has been installed. Let's pretend that I didn't already have it installed beforehand. It's a very easy process, if you somehow face problems, I made a few videos explaining how to fix extensions not working for both After Effects and Premiere Pro. But anyways, AE Juice has a bunch of free plugins that will help you tremendously as a video editor. And we'll see some examples. Let's open up the AE Juice Pack. If you're using After Effects, it's basically the same process by the way. Go to extensions and you will find it there. I think you might need to connect with the account you created on your browser if you're using it for the first time. But if we go to the free section, you can see that we have some free assets chilling right here. So these are the different free plugins essentially and you can preview them by hovering your mouse over them and if you want to use one, simply click to download. For example right here, I have the VFX plugin opened up and if I want to add this animation, I can just double click on it and then I can customize it in the effect controls panel. You get your hands also on some cool motion graphics. You can select your video and then double click on the animation that you like and that's it. You also get to use different sound effects for your projects. One of the most useful plugins you can use also is the voiceover AI. I made a video about this, it's basically a text to speech tool that works for any language and it sounds realistic. And on top of that it's free so that's cool. Yo. I am 100% human, no questions about it, don't believe the doubters yo. There are also other free plugins available in the pack, so I would say this is perfect for beginners or anyone looking to boost their editing tools and test the waters without spending a dime. All I'm saying is, you gotta try these free plugins. But if you wanna level up your game and get your hands on some juicy plugins, <laughs> then the all time bundle is where it's at in my opinion. I already had gotten this bundle during the sale and I mean look, I'm still scrolling, still scrolling, still scrolling, still scrolling. So yeah, we can talk about this pack for example called Liquid Mad Transitions. Hover over to preview any transition you like. Once you find one that fits your vibe, just select the two videos that you have on the timeline and double click on the transition. You might need to adjust the timing a bit so it lines up perfectly with the cut. And boom, instant splashy stylized transition without keyframing anything. I mean if you go back and type in transitions in the search box, you'll basically find endless types and genres of transitions, for example the glitch pack, which I actually use a lot in my videos. You also have sort of a themed transition pack for Christmas videos, which is cool. There is also one pack I really like which is the ink smoke. This one is really good and some of you guys asked me to make an ink transition tutorial, but here we have it. And by the way, you can favor the effects that you like and go over to this menu that has a star icon and you can basically reuse these effects pretty quickly without opening up each of the packs every single damn time. I'm just showing you some of the packs or plugins that will help you the most. For example, this pack is good for TikTok edits in my opinion. It's called Seamless Transitions and I mean, you don't even have to keyframe anything or add any animations yourself. You just double click and you're done. There is also the Instagram Stories pack which will help you with adding viral effects onto your vertical videos. There is also the infamous paper tear transition that many people including myself made tutorials about. But you can just find the built in animations for that in this pack. Alright now let's talk real quick about text animations. Super easy, just find one you like, double click it and it drops right into your timeline. Then just type in your text, hit ok and boom you're done. 
There is also this pack that allows you to easily write captions in the style of text messages. You've seen viral videos, I'm sure, of people making funny meme content with this kind of editing style, so this might come in handy. If you have a whiteboard YouTube channel or plan on making one, there is also a pack literally for that with endless assets. If you are a freelancer or a video editor for, I don't know, documentary style channels like Vox, or you want to replicate that Johnny Harris film look, there is also a pack called Newspaper Constructor. What this plugin does is it basically lets you create realistic headlines that are perfect for documentary style edits. Let's double click on this template for example. Here, you can change the headlines text and add the content you wish to present for your viewers. And I feel like if you're into spreading fake news and headlines in a cool way, this pack is for you, I'm sure about that. Now, if you want to add some effects to your videos and images, for example, if you want your footage to look old, you can add one of these VHS packs or if you want to have a cinematic old film effect you can use these packs. Film textures is also one hell of a pack as I've seen many people use this effect in their videos. Just place the template of your choice on top of your video and like I said if you're using After Effects you're basically gonna replicate what I'm doing here in Premiere Pro. Finally there is something else I want to show you. If you're making a video with stock videos and images you can just use the Pexels pack and download the necessary stock assets directly from here, which is pretty cool. Alright, so should you buy the AE Juice Pack? In my opinion, yes. If you are a freelancer, there is a subscription model, that way you pay less upfront and you can cancel anytime when work slows down. I mean, editing is getting competitive these days. But if you're planning on using AE Juice all the time and want to save money in the long run, then the all time bundle is the better deal. Simple as that. I already have it and it's awesome. And by the way, once you've bought it, this paid section will be available to you. Just make sure to use the link in the description to help out your boy a little bit. Mess around with the packs that I showed you or whatever catches your eye and let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear how you end up using it in your own edits. Oh yeah, and please like and subscribe.